Okay, so this holiday season, I figured I'd do a little something for you guys and give you guys some recommendations of what I recommend you guys get uh, for a good gamer setup. This is what I have right now, and this is what I use, and I love this setup. And it will not break the bank, which is a good thing. I mean, total here will be about maybe 400 bucks. We're talking here. Okay, start off the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. This right now at Walmart is going for $199, and it's the one terabyte version which is actually plenty of space right here. There's no discs, which is why the price is a little lower. The best part is it comes with three games. Well, this one's two and a half because this is just Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and this isn't really Fortnite. It comes with Fortnite DLC, which I don't give a rat's ass about. In fact, I'll leave a code in the description down below. First one to grab the code, you get whatever comes with it. It's some DLC bullshit. But this is one version that comes with that stuff. Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, you get those two with this. The other version of this comes with these two games, and it comes with Forza Horizon 3. I didn't get that because I already own that game. <sighs> but for those of you who don't, I'd say you get that version if you want to get that. $199. That's not a bad deal for some like this. Because uh, it usually goes for $249. Uh, it was $149, like around the Black Friday time. And I wish I grabbed it around that, around that time. That would have been perfect, but... You know, $199 is still a very good deal. And this is going to go on for, I think, until Christmas time. So get this while you still can. This is a great console, by the way. It's a lot of fun to use. Now, to play something to play it on, I like projectors. And the thing is, the reason why is because I want a big screen. When you get a big screen TV, you know, you got to load the thing around. It's not that heavy, but it's still big, you know. And it's just, it's, just, it's just a pain in the neck sometimes. So I want something that's small and easy to use. This came out earlier this year, around September, I believe. It came out right after I got my other projector because uh, I had a 1080p one, which is still in the closet, by the way. I don't use it because that one was a cheap Chinese one. And long story short, the bulb burned on that one, and I wasn't happy with that. But this is really nice. It's 129 bucks. It's called the NeoPix Easy. There's another one called the NeoPix Easy Plus. That one goes for 200 bucks. This one's only 130 on Amazon right now. And I'll leave a link in the description uh, on where to get it. It's not the clearest picture ever, but it's really nice. And you get an 80-inch uh, screen out of it very easily. Uh, mine's a little bit bigger than that. Let's go for, for pretty far in the back of the room. It's also very small. Look how big my hand is on this thing. Okay? This is a very small projector. It's right there, actually. I already got it hooked up. And it's portable, so you can take this anywhere you want to go. I don't think it has a battery in there. I don't remember having a battery, but... Uh, but if anywhere you can plug it in, you can use it very easily. And like if you want to bring your Xbox somewhere, which this thing's pretty small also, and this, you can easily set up an entertainment center like right away. No problem. And it's 129 bucks. This is definitely worth it. It's not the brightest thing ever. Um, they're still working on technology a little bit more. Maybe next year they'll have a brighter one. But for right now, this is great. Especially if you've got kids, this is, this is a great thing to give them. Because you can just put them on one side of the room. You get a big screen on the other side. Real easy. So I highly recommend this one. And now for sound, you can get a headset and headsets you can find easily wherever you want to go. You go to Walmart, Target, wherever you want to go, even Best Buy, and you can find a wall of headsets to get for anybody. You can make a decision based on that easily. My opinion, anything with Sony is perfect. So that's my opinion on that. But this is a Vizio soundbar. It's 2.0. Uh, I think it's called the SV2020, I believe it's called. They sell this at Walmart right now for 55 bucks. Okay, and this thing is loud, like really fucking loud. I'm not kidding. Uh, I got it for, well, my mother bought it for me for 49 bucks for Black Friday weekend, and that was the best thing ever because when I hook this thing up, it's good for a small room, but it's, and it's got its own base too. It's, it's got its own subwoofer built into the back of this thing, which sounds really, really good. Uh, I was watching Ready Player One on this thing, and it sounded like the movie theater almost. It was it was pretty damn good for fifty five bucks. That's a damn good deal because these usually go for about uh, seventy eight bucks usually. Uh, and plus, it has an optical input on the back of this thing, and it's Bluetooth. The optical input. This has an optical output, so and it comes with the cable. That comes with the cable, so you can connect this to that, and you get amazing sound quality out of that. I'll spend Sea of Thieves. The sound on this thing and lightning strikes were like really loud. It scared the crap out of me. And you hear the bass, you hear everything from this. It is really, really that good. And it's crystal clear, no problem whatsoever. So I do highly recommend this. And it's great for a small room also. So if you want to like like put it like right next to where your Xbox is and you can have this in the back of the room, 
that's a great setup. It really is a great setup. You know, and for the money here, you know, you got 200 bucks, 130, that's 330 bucks right there, 55 right here, plus tax, you're at 400 bucks. You get a full gaming setup for 400 bucks here. That's not a bad, that's not a bad deal. You know, especially if you, if you, you want to get back into gaming or you just want to like have something to get started with, this is a great setup for you to have. If you want to get the PS4, that's up to you. You get a used one for about the same amount of money almost, maybe a little cheaper than that if you know where to look. But this is my uh, personal recommendation. So, and I'll have links in the description down below where to get this stuff very easily. It's not that hard. You can get it for very good deals. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and y'all have a good day.